Hello everybody, Wes here from the Tunnel Freight Railroad. Today we are doing a special video. Well, kind of special. We are doing the history of the greatest man in railroad history. And that would be Casey Jones, otherwise known as John Luther Jones. John Luther was his real name, but Casey was just a nickname. Casey was born in the 1800s, late 1800s. He grew up around the railroad during the big growing railroad time. And when he was old enough, he joined the Illinois Central Railroad, eventually making, getting up to, to engineer. And he even had a customly fitted whistle but we're getting ahead of ourselves because I kind of hear you asking, well, Wes, how did he get the nickname Casey? Well, turns out there was a ton of John Luther's in the place he worked. So his boss asked him, where are you from? And John replied, I'm from Casey. Casey, Kentucky, that is, the town. And um, so his boss wrote down the name, Casey, and they kind of became a nickname for him. And Casey was pretty much loved by all. It's said that when he blew by, and when he flew by towns and he blew his whistle, everyone knew that was him because it was custably headed whistle, and he would do his famous whip or wheel whistle. Now, he was a bit known to have a heavy hand on the throttle. And he was always early because he was speeding. He was caught, suspended for three months. Or that's what I gathered. But then, as after he returned, he continued to be efficient and was on time. Now one day, which was April 30th, 1900, tragedy struck. He was filling in for an engineer that called in sick. He and his engine were uh, taken over for a passenger train that was late. They sped along the line at speeds of 100 miles per hour. The lines were supposed to be clear, which most of them were. But this is where tragedy comes in. Um... There was a stalled freight train, and his fireman, who was a 19-year-old, I think, 19-year-old man, he warned Casey about it, a foggy morning, so his fireman knew warned Casey. Casey told him to jump. Casey slammed the brakes. Might have even tried throwing it in reverse. Desperately trying to stop. But when he figured out that there that he wouldn't stop in time, he continued to get keep the brakes on. But he hang hung on to that whistle chain for dear life. Blowing it blowing it loud and long. Crashed straight into the brake vent, into the caboose. The engine went on its side. Now there's rumor that when they found him, his hand was still clinging the whistle chain. Now that engine was number 382, a 460 engine for the Illinois Central. 382 is still around in real life. On display at the Casey Jones Museum in Jackson, Tennessee. His house, which is also in Jackson, is now on dis is now the Casey Jones Railroad and House Museum and Home Museum. He's pretty famous, known as the American Railroad Hero, as I've said. Now, some of you might have saw in one of my other videos, which was a short of me 
of me filming Illinois Central Railroad number 382. I have a model of the engine which I filmed. Which is a AHM model, which I bought from the train store. It's a pretty nice model, I love it. I love to run it. Though I don't really run it as much as I did when I first bought it, which was a few weeks ago, on December 31st, 2022. Because I thought, hey, it's New Year's. Why not buy a new engine? But there was also the fact that I had another British locomotive coming from England at the time. But still, why not get Casey Jones' famous engine? I mean, why not? So I did. Runs great. I love the engine. And now we are going to do a bit of a running session of 382. Let's get into that. That's going to wrap it up for this video. Hope you all enjoyed. Please like, share, subscribe if you enjoyed, please. Help this channel grow. Because I'm still a fairly new channel. And I'm excited to make more videos. And I hope you all enjoyed. Until the next video. In other words, until next time. See you all later. Goodbye.